Okay, so definition of terms for Philippine Electrical Code Part 2. So this is Article 1.1 of the, cha the Philippine Electrical Code Part 2, no? Chapter 1. So first we will go to the main uh, terms no? for the Philippine Electrical Code Part 2. Kasi yung Philippine Electrical Code Part 2 are all about installations on uh, pools, no? yung mga transmission line, yung mga, yung mga distribution system. So, kaya ang ini-emphasize ng Philippine Code Part 2 is working with heights. No? If you have your safety, no? iba dito is safety officer. So, alam na yung ano yung ibig sabihin ng working with heights. So, what are the different um, what are the different uh, personal protective equipment na kailangan gamitin if we are working on high elevations no yung mga yung mga trabaho na kailangan na kailangan nasa taas tayo no so first we have this definition fall protection program a program intended to protect workers from injury due to falls from elevation no so it is required by the Philippine Electrical Code that every every utility company every uh, transmission or grid company so dapat mayroon silang fault all protection program. No, so this is just a plan, no, programa na dapat meron yung bawat company. So that is to ensure that workers are protected from injury due to due to falls from elevations. Then we have fall protection system hardware. So this is uh, sinusuoto siya, no? So this is a part of the uh, personal protective equipment but it is mostly intended no to protect our workers no from falling no so uh, consists of either a fall prevention system or a fall arrest system no so dalawa yan no either it is a fall prevention system or a fall arrest system all all of that will be considered as a fall protection system then we have fall arrest system so the assemblage of equipment such as line workers body belt, aerial belt, or full body harness in conjunction with connecting means with or without an energy absorbing device and an anchorage to limit the forces a worker can experience during a fall. Yan, no? So during a Fall. So, yan yung fall arrest system. So, that is a a system no, consists of the usual ano, mga PPE. No? So, yung mga body belt, aerial belt, at yung fall body harness na dapat it is connected no, on a stable um, stable anchorage. No? So, that is to protect no, a worker in case na yung mismong pinapatungan niya, no, yung mismong platform will collapse. Yan. Then, fall prevention system, a system which may include a positioning device system intended to prevent worker from falling from an elevation. So, an example of this one is what we call as the boom track. No? Boom track or yung ating mga ladder. So, that is a fall prevention system. Anchorage is a secure point of attachment to which the fall protection system is connected. No? So, yung ating uh, fall protection system Nakakonek siya sa ating anchorage, no? So, yung ating anchorage is a secure point. So, meaning even if the platform itself will collapse, uh, hindi yung ating point kung saan tayo nag-anchor, hindi siya masasama doon sa pag-collapse. Okay, next. Harness, no? A harness is a component with a design of straps that is fastened about the worker in a manner so as to contain the torso and distribute the fall arrest forces over at least at least no the upper thighs pelvis chest and shoulders which means of attaching it to other components and subsystem so harness no if in case no uh, na ano yung platform natin nasira yung platform so the purpose of the harness is to protect no our uh, major part of our body no para hindi tayo maano magkaroon ng ano uh, major injury so that is kaya nga ano uh, may 
may iba't ibang klaseng harness, may harness na uh, sa ano lang ah uh, tawag doon yung nasa hip lang, no? So for as recommended by the Philippine Electrical Code, the harness must include not only your ano, your tawag doon, your hips, including your thighs and your shoulders para ma-protect din yung ating chest, no? Itong ano kasi yung iba kasi sa hip so that is protecting the pelvis, no? Para hindi ma-detach yung ating ano spinal cord no but for peripheral cord sinasama pati yung shoulder at yung chest no yan so ito yung recommended no so we have here the anchorage yan we have the anchorage so either dito sa i beam no so usually pag katrabaho sa ano tawag doon sa mga poste eh. so it is usually part no ito nakakabit siya doon mismo sa boom track no then um it is commonly referred to as tie off point no then the anchorage connection used to join the connecting device to the anchorage so ito yung anchorage connection then you have the body wear so yung ating body wear is our protective equipment so this is a full body harness no so ito so kasama yung chest at yung shoulder pati yung pelvis pati dito yung hips no then we have the connecting device ito yung connecting device which connected our uh, full body harness to the anchorage no Yan. so uh, for this instance no itong type na to this is uh, uh, one point no isa lang yung point ng kaniyang tawag doon ng kaniyang connection no but there are special extreme cases no na kinakailangan talaga na at least two point yung ating anchorage no so that dalawa or tatlo. But the Philippine Ethical Code is only emphasizing that there must be in an anchorage, no? If you are working on heights. Okay, so position positioning device system, a system of equipment or hardware that when used with its line worker's body, belt or full body harness allows a worker to be supported on an elevated vertical surface such as a pole or tower and would work in both hands free. No? So example of this one is our specialized ladder or ating mga boom track. Then the positioning strap, a strap with snap hooks to connect the D-rings of the line worker's body belt or full body harness. No? So ito yung ano, strap no? which connect our uh, full body harness with the belt. In work site, as applied to fall protection, the location and the structure equipment where after the worker has completed the climbing, no, either that is horizontal or, or a vertical climb, the worker is in position to perform the assigned work or task. No? Kung, ito yung lugar na kung saan, uh, doon, no? doon uh, may gagawin yung ating lineman o yung ating worker. The line yard, a flexible line or webbing, rope, wire rope, or strap that generally has a connector at each end for connecting the line worker's body belt, aerial belt, or full body harness to an energy absorbing device, lifeline, or anchorage. So, balik natin kanina. So, ito yung ating line yard. No? So, ito yung ating D-clip no? na nakakonect sa ating anchorage ito yung ating snap hook na kakonect sa ating full body harness. So if wala tong D clip, no? So D clip kasi yung meron to siyang locking mechanism dito. So if wala tong D clip, ang pwedeng mangyari is pwede itong maano, ma tagdon, ma putol, no? Yung ating connection between the anchorage and the full body harness. Yung line yard naman that is flexible that is to absorb, no? Absorb the energy in case there is a fall no para hindi masyadong maano yung ating worker okay then we have administrative authority no the government author, authority exercising jurisdiction over application of this code no for this one ang ang government authority na may jurisdiction over the application na philippinal code is the NIA or the National Electrification Administration because NIA is um, so supervising 
uh, utility company at yung mga distribution company and also the uh the transmission and and the uh the generating company so for this one no ang 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 ibig sabihin nito ang pinapaano nitong administrative authority is the NEA so they are the one who has the jurisdiction para ipatupad yung mga provisions ng Philippine Political Code Part 2 no sa Part 1 naman iba Sino yung may jurisdiction? Sino yung dapat magpatupad ng provisions ng Philippine Legal Code Part 1? No? So, yung NEA, if in case there is an installation, no? nangyari may gagawin na substation or ito yung tinatawag na ano, mga electrification project kung saan mag, ano, mag, magdadagdag ng mga, ano, ng mga transmission line or ng mga distribution line. So, yung NEA, yung isa din sa mag inspect No? just to as uh, ensure no na yung mga installation na yun is within the provisions or within the standards of the Philippine Ethical Code part 2 ampacity no so same with the ampacity definition from part Philippine Ethical Code part 1 so yung ampacity sa part 2 is pareho pa rin the current carrying capacity which is expressed in amperes of an electric conductor under stated thermal conditions so meaning yung ating ampacity is depending dependent on the temperature. No? So later on as we go to our review, so malalaman din natin na if a certain ano, a certain conductor is applied to a certain ambient temperature, makakaroon ng ano ng rating sa kanyang ampacity. But ampacity, so that is the current carrying capacity, yung current na kayang i-carry ng ating wire or ating conductor at a certain temperature condition or ambient temperature. So, that is what we call as ampacity. Then, area lighting. No? Lighting and electrical installation that provides lumens on public or private property. So, parang, ano lang, parang social lang pagkasabi nito sa political code, but... Uh, but in reality, so ito yung tiyatawag nating street lights, no? So, example for this one is ito, no? Yung mga park lights natin. So, that is what we call as area lighting. The question is if that is included in part 1 or part 2. If your street light is, uh, if the street light of a certain, ano, a certain place or a certain, tawag doon, a certain city is maintained by the utility company, so that is automatic part 2 if that is maintained by the lgu so the lgu na will have the ano the jurisdiction no that uh, pwede niya gamitin yung part 1 kasi meron din sa part 1 sa outdoor installations or we could use the part 2 no na provisions but if the ano lighting or the area lighting is ano um um tagdon uh, supervised or maintained by the you know, by the utility company so you must follow the provisions of Philippine Ethical Code Part 2 then we have authorized person so a person who has been authorized by the controlling utility or its designated representative to perform duties specified duties in on or in the vicinity of the utility facilities as applicable. So when we say authorized person, so he is the one designated by the utility company to perform kunyari, um, maintenance or troubleshooting of distribution lines. That is within the vicinity or within the territory or within the area of responsibility of the certain company. Sa atin kasi, we are usually each province have their own utility company, no? So, sa ano, sa NCR, we have the, the, the Meralco. So, I'm not sure if, ano yung talagang sakop ng, ano, ng, ng Meralco. Then, we have also, um, in, in some areas, sa Visayas, with the Vico, no? So, Vico could, uh, designate someone, or, uh, a group of persons, no, a group of people, to maintain their 
distribution lines. So, yung mga lineman, yung mga leadman, yung mga ganun. No? That is to perform duties, maintaining, troubleshooting, or installation. So, they are now called authorized persons. Yan. But, for example, ang nag-authorize is VICO, no? For them to do, uh, do the, tawag doon, the maintenance, no? Of all areas na sakop ng VICO, then bigla silang nap napunta sa ibang province. Kunyari, na ano sila sa Manila, tapos sila yung nag-troubleshoot ng isang linya. So, they are not, uh, they are now considered as unauthorized, no? Kasi ang nagbigay sa kanila ng authorization is VICO, Visayas, Electric, uh, electric Co-op, co pero ang, ang area, no? Na, or ang area of responsibility ng VICO is hanggang sa Cebu lang, tapos ano sila na, na gumawa, gumawa sa sa Manila, so they are now they are, they are now unauthorized, no? To perform duties, no? Okay, automatic, so self-acting, operating by its own mechanism and actuated by some impersonal influence. So example, a change in current, strength, not manual, without personal division, remote control that requires personal division is not automatic but manual. So we say automatic, so it is depending on the, on the process. No? Hindi na kailangan na merong uh, human interaction or human intervention so that the the switch or a certain device will change its state, state no from on or off so that is yung automatic the opposite of that one is manual na kung saan kailangan ng human intervention no kaya kailangan ng human input para mabago yung state ng isang device then we have banding no so banding siguro kapag meron kayong ano siguro kapag kapag kasama yung ano yung barkada may konting banding pero sa ano electrical code ibang banding ibig sabihin nito that is the electrical connection of conductive parts designed to maintain a common electric potential so when you say banding ito yung connection between metal parts kunyari meron kang dalawang box gusto mo na sil na ano na they are connected electrically so dapat lagyan mo ng wire na nakakonek doon sa at sa dalawang box no na nakakonek sa kanang metal part so ang ang connection na yon ang tawag doon is banding so banding is is uh, important especially when it comes to grounding no kasi all metal parts on a system either that is um outdoor installation yung sa ating mga poste or in uh, indoor installation sa mga bahay sa mga building a system must be uh, must have a grounding system no na dapat yung kaniyang ano yung kaniyang grounding system is doon talaga siya magdeterminate sa ating grounding electrode no sa Philippine electrical code the grounding system is maintained no through the post no kaya mayroon tayong mga tao na guy wires and guy wires also act no as the uh, the grounding electrode no so even if that is ano uh, part 2 ng PEC siya kasama so ini-emphasize pa rin ang importance of grounding then cable so cable is a conductor with insulation or a stranded conductor with or without insulation and other coverings single conductor cable or a combination of conductors insulated from one another. So, multi-conductor cable. So, yung cable, ang tawag, ibang tawag sa is wire. Then, the usual is, kapag wire is, wire ang tawag if, ano, if below uh, 8 square mm, above square mm, ang tawag is cable. But, the common term or the, tawag doon, the, 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 the general term is cable. No? So, cable could be, ano, Cable could be insulation or ah, pwede siya insulated or non-insulated. Pwede din siya stranded or solid. But if medyo mataas na yung ating ano, size, so it is now stranded. No? Then cable jacket, also known as jacket, a protective covering over the insulation core or sheet of a cable. So if, 
if a cable has a jacket, so ito yung pinakauna niyang covering, no? sa so pinaka surface. So the purpose of the jacket is to protect the, uh, the sheet of the cable or the insulation. So kasi mayroong mga cable na walang ano, walang sheet, ang we lang is the insulation. So may jacket siya that is to add additional protection on the insulation. And we have keyboard sheet, a conductive protective covering applied to keyboard. No? So usually the sheet is used for grounding, no grounding purposes, and also to protect the insulation of the keyboard. No? So ito. So we have here the jacket, ito. So if you are familiar with THHN, so if you compare wire THHN and TW, yung T, yung THHN, parang meron siyang, tawag doon meron siyang plastic, no? Meron siyang transparent plastic doon sa pinaka-outer. Abang yung TW naman is wala. So yung, yung THHN is a uh, nylon jacketed wire. So ang kanyang ano, ang kanyang plastic na transparent na covering sa pinaka-surface, yan yung nylon. So yan yung kanyang jacket. No? So for this one, so ito meron yung jacket. Tapos meron tayo yung metal sheet, no? So usually mesh. If nakapag, ano na kayo, nakapag, ano na kayo ng wire for cable wire, so mayroon yan, no? Tapos, ito yung kanyang primary insulation, and we have here our primary conductor, no? Yan, so yan yung ano ng cable. Then we have backfill, no? So we, are go, we will now go to yung mga ano naman, yung mga pagtambak, no? So especially if we are uh, on on the process of ins, um, tawag doon, erecting poles, no? yung mga transmission poles o yung mga distribution poles. So, backfill, so material such as sand, crush stone, or soil that are placed to fill an excavation. So, ito yung ti, ano natin, um, nila, nilalagay natin para matakpan yung ano, butas. No? Then, ballast section. So, this is applicable for railroads. The section of material, uh, generally trap rack, that provides support under railroad tracks. Yan. So, ito yung example ng ballast section ito. This is used no, to provide support ito sa ating track. Yan, sa ating railroad track. Okay, so, kaya ito napasama kasi, as you can see on this figure, no, or this picture pala. So, meron tayo ditong poste, no? So, usually kasi nangyayari, yung bala section is due to erosion, yung pagdaan ng mga tren, yung ibang ano to, yung ibang mga bato nito is pumupunta rin dito. And it will also have some effect, no? If, especially when you are excavating for the poles para sa poste. Okay, then we have cable terminal. A device that provides insulated ingress for conductor. So, ito yung uh, ni, nilalagay sa termination part ng ating cable. That is to provide uh, insulation no, on our conductors. Circuit. So, alam natin kung ano yung circuit. No? As long as we are ano, uh, practicing elect uh, electrical, we know what is a circuit. It is a conductor, a system of conductors through which electric current is intended to flow. So, ito yung dadaanan ng ating current. Either that is a conductor or multiple conductors. Circuit breaker, a switching device capable of making, carrying, and breaking currents under normal circuit conditions and also making, carrying for a specified time and breaking currents under specified and normal conditions such as those of short circuit. The ating breaker, it will trip during a short circuit. It can be also turned off under normal conditions and it could also be turned uh, turn on no? under normal conditions. So, magtitrip lang siya in abnormal conditions especially pag meron tayong short circuit. Clearance. So, if you are going to install post, no? yung, mga yung mga distribution system natin, yung mga distribution post natin. So, meron siyang clearance. Clearance from the highway. No? Ilang meters siya uh, from the side of the highway tapos clearance din ng ano ng mga cable especially if the cable cable is crossing 
on the highway. So, may clearance din yan. So, that is the distance between two object measured surface to surface. So, when we say clearance, hindi siya measured center to center, but surface to surface. So, it is um, usually a gas uh, with a gas or air. No? So, yan yung kasikadasan kasi pag clearance when it comes to transmission system. So, talagang yung ano niya is air, yung space niya between. So, meron din clearance between conductors. Kunyari, yung transmission line is ano siya, three-phase. So, meron din, tawag doon, meron din siyang, um, tawag doon, distance, no? Clearance, no? Between each cable. Next, we have climbing. No, climbing is the vertical movement, ascending and descending, and horizontal movement to access or depart from the worksite. Yung pag-akyat. No? So, kahit yung pag-akyat mismo is kailangan pang i-define ng Philippine Electrical Code Part 2. So, yan yung ibig sabihin ng ano, climbing. Okay, next we have common use. So, when we say common use, it is simultaneously used by two or more utilities or two or more distribution company of the same kind. So, kunyari isang transmission line and they are uh, shared no, by two utility companies. So, that transmission line is a common use na transmission line. Then we have conductor. No? So, conductor is a material usually in the form of a wire, cable, or bus bar suitable for carrying an electric current. No? So, yun lang. Invention ng conductor. So, doon dumadaan ang ating wires. The wires, di ba? Ang ating current. Then, we have bare conductor. So, metallic conductor without covering. So, yung ating bare conductor, wala yung cover. No? So, there's no covering kapag bare. Isa naman is bundled conductor, an assembly of two or more conductor uh, used as a single conductor and employing spaces to maintain a predetermined configuration. The individual conductors of this assembly are called subconductors. Yan. So, bundled meaning nakabundle yung ating conductor. So, it is a assembly of two or more conductors which are used as a single conductor. Covered, when we see covered conductor, a conductor which is covered with a dielectric having no rated insulate, insulating strength or having a rated insulating strength less than the voltage of the circuit in which the conductor is used. Because laging covered, yung ating uh, mismong Conductor is covered siya, but uh, the, the covering itself is not part of the wire. Hindi siya nakadikit dun sa ating uh, conductor. No? Yan. Yan yung covered. Grounded conductor, a conductor that is intentionally grounded. So yung conductor na nakakonect talaga sa ating grounding system. Either that is solidly or through a non-interrupting current limiting device. Okay, so, paano pong hindi nakadikit, sir? When you say covered, kasi kunyari, we have a tangdon, wire gutter, no? So, or a bus bar gutter. So, yung ating bus bar gutter, that is the bus bar inside that is the conductor. Tapos, nilagay siya sa parang cabinet. So, the, the cabinet is the cover, no? Cover sa ating wire para hindi magkaroon ng international, con ah, kan yung ano, accidental contact, no? So yung bus bar na nasa loob ng ating ano ng ating wire gutter or bus bar gutter ang, ang tawag sa conductor na yun is a covered conductor. Kapag nakadikit no which is usually na, na common sa atin so ang tawag doon is insulated conductor. Yung meron ng rating yung mismong ano yung mismong 
isolation. So, ganun ang mga tawag na THN, uh, THW. So, that is what we called as an insulated conductor. Okay, grounding conductor. So, it is a conductor that is used to connect the equipment or the wiring system with a grounding electrode or electrodes. You know? So, yung ating grounding conductor, gamit siya para yung ating equipment is connected to the ground. No? Habang yung grounded naman is talagang sinadya siya na i-ground or either solidly through a non-interrupting current limiting device. So, is the conductor a conductor covered with a dielectric other than air? No? So, talagang nakadikit siya kasi there is no space between. No? Having a rated insulating strength equal to or greater than the voltage of the circuit in which it is used. So, when we say ano, tawag doon, um, the dielectric strength, so that is usually rated in voltage, especially sa, sa ating mga wire, no? rated wire. So, yung ating mga ginagamit na wire, usually na ginagamit natin, so, that is rated at 2,000 volts, no? yung sa mga indoor installation, yung mga THN, TW, THW. So, what will happen if we are going to, up to use those wire on voltages that are higher than 2,000 volts. So, mayayari, yung ating, ins yung ating insulation is masusunog na yun. So, kaya, if nakalagay is that wire is good only for 2,000 volts, so dapat the application must be up to 2,000 volts. For high voltage naman, so depending on the type of, uh, or the system voltage of the insulation, if that is a 69 kV, iba din yung ano, uh, insulation strength niya. Hindi, ano, hindi pwede na, kunyari, 16 kV, tapos ang gagamitin mo din is, ganun din, uh, 2,000 or uh, ano, uh, 69 kV. Meron nga, dapat mas mataas pa no? yung kanyang insulated, uh, yung kanyang, ano, yung kanyang dielectric strength. No? So, that is to prevent our insulation or our covering ng ating conductor para masunog or masira. Kasi kapag nawala na yung ating, ano, nawala na yung ating covering or ating insulation na mayayari, our conductor is now bare, which is uh, subject, no? Subject to short circuit or accidental contact. Okay. Then we have the lateral conductor, a wire or cable entirely supported on one structure and extending in a general horizontal uh, vertical or diagonal direction to make connections to line conductors. So, service drops, uh, equipment, or other facilities supported on the same structure. Lateral conductors may be attached directly to the structure or supported away from the structure. So, we will see uh, lateral conductors, so they are connected no, from a certain um, doon, certain load, no, the bahay or building, papunta doon sa ating mismong line conductors. Okay, so the the grounded conductor, it is intentionally grounded. That is to protect, no? Or that, the purpose of that one is to protect the system from uh, ground fault. No? So, you know, it, it intentionally grounded. So that is, a, 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 uh, ano siya, parang wire siya nakakonect inten intentionally. Pero yung grounding is doon siya sa equipment. Kunyari, meron kang motor or meron kang transformer, so meron kang grounding conductor niyan. Kasi yung grounding conductor, yun yung magkoconnect sa ating, ano, sa ating, tawag doon, sa ating equipment, papunta doon sa ating grounding electrode. Yung grounded is just a wire, either that is connected on a post, yung ating guy wire, so that is intentionally grounded, so that is to provide protection against ground fault. Yung, ano, yung grounding is just to have a tag don a ground fault effective path no in case na magkaroon ng ano ng sudden surge or ma tag don may may surge current tayo no okay then we have line conductor so ito yung sa ating mga uh, transmission lines or distribution lines no so a wire or cable intended to carry electric currents extending along the route of the line supported by poles, towers, or other structures, but not including vertical or lateral conductors. 
no? So, ito yung sa ating mga transmission lines. So, it could be uh, for electricity. Pwede rin meron tayong line conductor for communication. No? So, yung mga fiber optics. Open conductor, a type of electric supply or communication line construction in which the conductors are bare, covered, or insulated, do not have grounded shielding, and are individually supported at the structure either direct, directly or with insulators. Yan. So, yan yung open conductor natin. So, open siyang conductor, nakahang na siya sa air. No? So, we, kasi, meron din kasi itong insulation that is underground. No? So, I believe dito sa Pilipinas, Davao pa lang yung may underground installation. Sa atin kadalasan, aerial or open yung ating conductor. Then, vertical conductor, either wire or cable riser attached to a pole or a vertical portion of a lateral conductor. No? So, yung vertical conductor, ang kanyang direction is vertically. Kanya na tayo siyang vertical conductor. So, it is a wire or a cable riser attached to a pole or a vertical portion of the lateral conductor. Okay, then you have conductor shielding, an envelope that encloses the conductor of a cable and provides an equipotential surface in contact with the cable insulation. So the purpose of cable shielding, aside from protecting also the conductor, is to provide equipotential surface. What is mean by equipotential surface? So there is a zero voltage no, between the insulation and the conductor. Kasi pag meron siyang, ano, meron siyang voltage na nag-exist between our insulation and our conductor, nakakaroon yung tawag ng voltage drop. Makasasama na yan sa ating voltage drop. No? Okay, then we have conduit. So, ang conduit is a contain, con, uh, structure containing one or more ducts. No? That, that is a conduit. No? So, either that, that is a ducting or a pipe. No? We didn't cable tray. So, that we, uh, no, not cable tray but pipe only or ducts. No? Kasi yung cable tray that is part of a raceway. In conduit system, any combination of ducts, conduits, manholes, and holes and vaults join to form an integrated hole. So, meaning, yung conduit system, um, combination of ducts and other conduits, kasama yung mga access point, that is the man manholes, the handholes, and the vault. So, yung tawag yan is the access point. Ang purpose niyan is dadaanan ng ating wire. No? So, if that is an underground installation ng ating mga, doon, ng ating mga distribution lines, then we would doon natin talagang makikita yung mga conduit system. But for us, kasi open tayo or aerial, aerial installation, so makikita na natin is yung mga poste, pati yung mga cross arm. No? Then we have current carrying part or path, a conducting, a conducting part intended to be connected in electrical circuit to a source of voltage. So non-current carrying parts are those not intended to be so connected. So, yung current carrying part, yan yung nakikerry ng current. So, kunyari, conductor na doon dumadaan yung ating current. So, that is a current carrying part. Ang ibang tawag sa atin is the hot wire or the live wire. So, meron din tayong non-current carrying wire. Example of that one, which is usually does not carry current, is our grounded wire or our grounding wire. So, hindi yan nakikerry ng current. And, sa, and in some cases, it's also our neutral wire. Hindi niya nakikerry ng current. Okay, then the, the energize meaning disconnected from the source. Naka-off. Walang kuryente. Yan yung de-energize. De delivery point, the point at which one utility delivers energy or signals to another utility. Yan. So, ano ibig sabihin ito? Ito yung point na kung saan yung ating isang utility company pwede siyang mag-supply sa isang utility company in case na yung utility company na yun is nagkaroon siya ng ano tawag doon ng low no na, na mas uh, mas mababa yung kaniyang pwedeng i-supply compared doon sa demand no 
Then, designated person, a qualified person designated to perform specific duties under the conditions existing. No? So, yan yung designated person. So, when we say designated person, he is designated to perform a certain duties under certain conditions. No? So, merong, merong siyang dapat sundin na mga conditions na pwede lang niyang gawin ang kanyang duties. If lumagpas na dun sa kanyang normal ng, ano, na condition, so that person is not uh, allowed no, to do the tagad, kung gawin kung ano man yung kanyang um, trabaho. No? If the existing condition uh, does not exist. Okay? Then disconnecting or isolating switch no, from the word itself, disconnecting or isolating switch, its purpose is to Isolate no? a circuit or equipment from a source of power. So it, it could be, uh, it is a mechanical switching device. So switch, breaker, knife switch, no? that is to change the connection of the circuit. No? Thereby isolating the equipment or the load from a source of power. Okay. Then we have DAC. No? So ito yung... Kanina, no? So, DAC is a single enclosed raceway for conductors or cable. Enclosed. So, ibig sabihin ng enclosed, wala siyang, ano, wala siyang opening. No? Enclosed yung ating conductor. Of course, there will be some, what we call as the access point. No? Yung manhole or yung handhole. So, mamaya malaman niyo anong pinagkaiba ng manhole at yung handhole. Okay. Then, effective ground uh, or e effectively grounded. So, bonded to an effectively grounded neutral conductor or to a grounding system de designed to minimize hazard to personnel and having resistance to ground low enough to permit prompt operation of circuit protective device. So, if our system is effective ground or effectively grounded, so nakabanded siya, no? nakabanded to an effectively grounded neutral conductor or doon sa grounding system, na meron siyang uh, low uh, dun, low potential uh, low impedance dito ang term to is the resistance so low impedance to permit that in case there will be a ground fault yung ating mga protective device will trip off so thereby min minimizing the hazard dun sa ating mga personnel or to properties na maning magcause ng sunog then effectively grounded neutral conductor so a conductor that is intentionally connected to the source transformer neutral directly or through an impedance to limit phase to ground fault so yung purpose nito the if effectively grounded neutral no meron tayong fault between our line yung phase and the ground itself no and has not less than four grounds in each 1.6 kilometer of Line. So, ito sabihin nito. Every 1.6 km, so AB 400 meters. So, dapat merong apat na rounding electrode. So, yan yung... So, kaya, makikita nyo yung mga post, meron talaga silang mga guy wire. No? Yung naka, ano, or tawag doon, yung, uh, yung kalang grounded wire. No? So, the conductor shall be sufficient size to carry the, uh, the available fault current and permit prompt operation of the circuit protective device. So, ibig sabihin ito, no? So, hindi pwede na basta-basta tayo maglagay, no? Nang wire as for our ano, grounding. So, meron siyang sariling standard sizes, no? So, nakadepende yan dun mismo sa ating load, no? O kung ano yung uh, current na dadaan sa ating uh, mga current carrying parts or current carrying wires. So, doon nakabase yung laki din ng ating grounding wire. So, hindi, hindi, ang, ano kasi, kadalasan kasi yung practice, especially if we apply this one to, ano, wiring doon sa mga building, sinasabi na 2.0 lang yung wire niya kasi grounding naman yan. So, meron yan, no? Meron yang standard. So, sa part 2, meron siyang table. Sa, sa PC part 2, may table. Sa PC part 1, meron din, no? At, at kasama din yan doon, minsan, no, na lumalabas sa exam. If, Ano ang yung gagamitin na grounding wire if your system is 80 amperes, 100 amperes, or 125 amperes. So, may sariling laki yan ng wire. Then, we have electric, electric supply equipment. So, equipment that produces, modifies, regulates, controls, or safeguard a supply of electrical 
energy. So this, uh, these are equipment on the supply side of our system. So example of that one, generator, transformer, our reactors, and our capacitors. No? So yung ating, yung ating generator, they will produce or generate the electricity. The transformer could be used to modify, regulate, then the capacitor or the characteristics could control. Our safeguards will be our breakers. So those are electrical supply equipment. Then electric supply station, any building, room, or separate space with which electrical supply equipment is located and the interior of which is accessible as a rule only to qualified person. So this include generating station, substation, included their including no kasama ang kanilang associated generator storage battery transformer switch gear rooms or enclosure but does that include facilities such as pad mounted equipment and installation in manholes and bolt okay so for having supply equipment building or room or a separate space na kung saan ang doon yung ating mga electrical supply equipment ang pwede lang makapasok is a qualified person. No, when we say qualified person, namaya malaman natin ko ano yung meaning noon, but as i ano, ang ang qualified person is may alam. No, may alam sa kung ano ang gagawin niya sa electrical uh, sa electric supply station, no? So the only way to know kung talagang yung qualified person is may alam, syempre he has the proper training, no? On that on that part of work. Then we have generating station. So this, uh, the other term for this one, ang, ang ginamit lang ng PC part 2 is generating station. But the common term for this one is our power plant, electric power plant. So the purpose of this one is to convert other forms of energy, such as chemical, nuclear, solar, mechanical, or hydraulic. No, So if, if that is chemical, so that will be um tawag doon doon sa ating mga diesel power plant to the chemical burning of fuel then nuclear so nuclear power plant solar so that is uh, solar power plant we could also have hydraulic no hydraulic natin is yung sa ating tubig pag sa mechanical naman we could have that one as the wind no yung ating mga wind turbine so, by means of suitable apparatus. No? This includes heating station, auxiliaries, and other associated equipment required for the operation of the plant. So, not included are station producing power exclusively for use with communication system. Yung ating mga ano, cell site, may sell silang mga generator. So, yung generator don, which is used in, in, time, in case of emergency kapag nawala yung ating supply, no, that generator is not considered or that room na kung saan doon yung ating generator is not considered as a generating station because that is just used for the tower itself. No? Then substation, an enclosed assemblage of equipment, switches, circuits, breakers, ba bus, uh, buses, and transformers under the control of qualified person through which electric energy is passed for the purpose of switching or modifying its characteristics to increase or decrease voltage or to control the frequency or other characteristics. So usually dito sa ating substation, doon natin makikita yung ating mga power transformers. So they are usually used to modify, no? either to step up or step down the uh, the voltage, no? depending on the application. So doon yung substation. So the substation also is uh, under control no? or ang nakalagay na tao doon is a qualified person. Yan. Okay, so ito, no? We have here a simple diagram. So this is our generating station, no? So ito, this is ito my transformer na. So if this is put on a certain room, no, or a certain area, so we could have our first um tag doon, substation. Tapos meron tayong mga transmission poles, no? So, 765, 500, 345, 230, 138. So, this is the usual voltage. No? So, galing dito, the voltage from the generating plant is step up. 
pass type of transformer into this voltage. So, nakadepende kung gano'ng kalayo, no? Gano'ng kalayo yung uh, kailangan i-travel, no? Ng ating electricity. So, the voltage itself it will depend on the distance, no? Of the generating station to the uh, to the distribution, no? So, dito, this is now our step down. So, from the transmission line, this, uh, ito yung uh, ito yung kukonect to the distribution line. So, kaya step down na siya. So, either that is 69 or 138, no? Or 125. So, ito na yung ating mga poste ngayon, which will supply um, certain voltage, no? Depending on the type of customer. So, kapag yung mga secondary customer, so that is 120 volts, 240 volts, primary customer, yung mga planta natin, no? yung mga uh, pla mga industrial or manufacturing plant, ito, kapag sub-transmission customer naman, no? an an another utility, so ito naman yung kanyang voltage. Yan. Okay. Then enclosed. So what is uh, what is meant by enclosed? No, so the whole structure or the whole equipment is uh, surrounded by a case, cage, or a fence. The par the purpose of this one is to secure, no, or to limit the likelihood that uh, even under normal conditions, no, that the equipment can be approached, which may cause an accident. No, so either sa mga tao or to cause a fire, no, so to objects. Energize, so it is connected to a supply. So, mayroong current or mayroong tayong oriente na dumadaan sa ating system. If that is the case, our system is energized. Equipment, so this is a general term for fittings, devices, appliances, fixtures, apparatus, and similar term used as part or connection with electrical supply or communication. So, lahat ng ginagamit natin when we are going to install or to, to maintain a certain electrical system or communication system, so we call that one as equipment, no? Fittings, devices, appliances, no? That we call that one in general as an equipment. Then exclusive control. So the uh, it covers installation, ownership, restricted access, operation, and maintenance by qualified and authorized person. So what does it mean? If, if a certain part no, of a system is under a exclusive control so meaning that uh, that system is uh, the installation the ownership and is, and the operation is maintained by a qualified and an authorized person hindi pwede na qualified lang dapat that person is also authorized by the by the utility company hindi pwede na authorized lang dapat that person is also qualified Alam niya ang, uh, ang trabaho na kanyang gagawin doon sa isang part ng electrical system na nasa kanya yung exclusive control. Exclusive control of utility. So, there are certain ano, dito, conditions. So, where energizing facilities are separated from public access by a spatial or physical barrier, and accessible only to qualified personnel authorized by the serving utility. So, example for this one is the substation. So, the substation is an ex exclusive control of the utility kasi ang pwedeng pumasok namang doon is the authorized and the qualified personnel. No? The utility is responsible for connection to of such facilities to, to and from energy sources of energy or signal. So, so in substation, the only uh, the only person or the only company that is allowed no, or responsible para ma-off or ma-on yung mga devices doon is the utility. No? Expose. So, expose is not isolated or guarded. So, when we say expose, hindi siya naka-isolate at wala din siyang guard or meaning hindi siya naka-enclose. So, meaning those type of equipment as a high potential hazard, no? Na pwedeng magkaroon ng accidental contact.
Okay. So, fiber optic cable communication. So, that is a fiber optic cable meeting the requirements for communication line and located in the communication space of overhead or underground facilities. So, kunyari ito yung ating ano, yung ating mga poste. So, dito sa baba nilalagay yung ating fiber optic installation. So, if you have a fiber in your house, makikita nyo na yung ating uh, fiber optic wire is tumadaan lang sa ating mga poste. No? So, that is fiber optic cable communication. The fiber optic cable supply, a fiber optic cable located in the supply space or overhead or underground facility. So, ito mismo. Ito yung itawag natin fiber optic cable supply. Yung buong system nito, ang tawag dyan is fiber optic cable communication. Yan. Okay. Fireproofing. You see, fireproofing, we are applying some chemicals no, to help our cables to be fireproof. No? The application of fire-resistant covering. Grounded, connected to or in contact with earth or connected to some extended conductive body that serve instead of the earth. Yan. So, when we say grounded, so nakakonnect siya sa earth. So, if a certain wire is grounded or nakakonnect sa earth, so that wire is grounded. Either that is intentional or non-intentional. So, kapag that is na uh, non-intentional no? so ano uh, hindi siya sinasadya so kunyari yung ating current carrying parts uh, will be uh, tawag doon dumikit siya sa isang puno then that is what we call now as face to ground fault or line to ground fault kasi yung puno is nakakonek sa ground no so that wire is grounded but unintentional or not intentional so that is now a fault Kapag sinadya naman natin, katulad yung ating grounding system or ating grounding wire, so that is a, an ano siya, intentional na grounding or grounded. Then grounded system, a system of conductor which is at least one conductor or point is intentionally grounded either solidly or through a non-interrupting limiting device. So grounded system, so mga conductor sila in which they are interconnected to each other. Tapos, yung isang wire or either two or three is nakakonect doon sa ground or sa earth. So that, so, that whole system is a grounded system. So, again, it could be intentional or unintentional. Okay? Guarded. So, covered, fence, enclosed, or otherwise protected by means of suitable covers or casing, barriers, or screens, mats, or platform designed to limit the likelihood under normal conditions of dangerous approach or accidental contact by persons or objects. So, yan yung guarded. No? Then, we have ito na, yung pinakaiba ng handhole at manhole. So, handhole, an access opening provided in the equipment or in below the surface enclosure, no? yung nasa ano lalo ng lupa naka ano nakalibing na enclosure in connection with underground lines into which personnel can reach but cannot enter for the purpose of installing operating or maintaining equipment or cable or boat so if it is that is an underground system or an uh, handhold yung pwedeng ipasok mo lang talaga is yung kamay so you uh, you do not have access no to enter the whole your whole body inside the tagdon the the underground uh, line system no ang pwede mo na ipasok is yung kamay mo which is enough to reach no to reach the wires kung saan mayroong fault no or kung saan kailangan mong ayusin pag manhole a subsurface enclosure that personnel may enter used for the purpose of installing operating and maintaining submersible equipment and cable so kapag manhole yung ano Yung buong tao yung pwedeng pumasok, no? So, manhole. Manhole cover, a removable lid that closes the opening to a manhole or similar subsurface enclosure. So, manhole ang tawag doon. Yung cover nating manhole. Manhole grating, so grid or grate that provides ventilation and protective cover for a manhole opening. So, purpose ng grating is ventilation, no? Kasi pwede naman tayo magkaroon ng manhole, katotong sa mga plumbing na walang 
walang grating, walang ganito, no? But for ano, for this one, kaya meron siyang grating that is to provide ventilation. So bakit kailangan may ventilation, no? Aside from mainit sa loob, yung mismo ating wire din if, if that is carrying a current, nagiiinit din yan. So that is part of the ventilation system of our underground system. Okay, in service. So these are lines and equipment which are considered in service when they are connected to the system and intended to be capable of delivering energy or communication signals so regardless of whether electric loads or signaling apparatus are presently being served from such facilities. So they are in service, meaning they are currently in use. No? Ginagamit siya. Those equipment are used no? to deliver energy or communication signals. Insulated, so that is separated from other conductive surface by dielectric, including airspace, offering a high resistance to the passage or of current. So, insulation as applied to cable, na, na, ano pala to? Na doble pala to. Uh, that which is relied upon to insulate the conductor from other conductors or conducting parts or ground. So, purpose talaga ng insulation, is to have uh, separation no? between other conductors or the conducting parts or doon sa ground. Kasi pag hindi siya insulated, then we may have nagkadikit yung dalawang ano, conductor so that will be short circuit. No? If a conductor is is directly connected to ground, no? so that, uh, that that is unintentional no? kasi may current tapos um, nakakonek siya and ito siya nito sa ating ground. So, yan yung ating ground fault or face to ground fault. Okay? Then, isolated by elevation. No? So, we say isol isolated by elevation. So, it is iso isolated by uh, elevate uh, by elevating our equipment. So, elevated sufficiently so that persons may safely walk underneath. So, pwede makadaan yung tao sa ilalim. So, that is isolated by Elevation. Joint use. So, simultaneous use by two or more utilities. So, joint use. So, same yung kanina na ano. Na ito doon. Yung kanina which about uh, usage. No? So, pwede siya trying joint use. Limited access highways. So, these are highways which has limited access or partially controlled by governmental authority for the purpose of removing traffic flow and safety. So, bakit ano, kailangan i-consider na Philippine Technical Code yung limited access highways? If, uh, ano kasi, dapat na when we are having our overhead conductors or yung ating mga transmission poles, dapat it will not obstruct no, the flow of traffic. No? So, there are also yung at lahat ating mga uh, distribution installation don't must, we must um, have permit no, from the controlling government authority or from the LGU. Then we have types of lines. No? We have the communication lines. So located in communication space. So the conductors and their supporting or containing structures, equipment, apparatus that are used for public or private signal. So they operate usually at 400 volts to ground or 750 volts between any two points in the circuit or could be 90 volts AC or 150 volts DC. No? So example of this one are the fiber optic cables and also yung mga telephone cables natin. So they are communication lines. Kapag uh, wala. Okay, so communication lines. Ito. So located in supply space. So communication lines located in supply space and meeting as approved by uh, may operate at any voltage. Then included supply circuits of any voltage and be included with a supply conductor or cable operating at any voltage. So if it is located at the supply space, no, yung sa ating mga communication line. So, meaning, we could be operate at any voltage. Tapos, uh, kasama niya yung supply circuit. Tapos, it is within no, the conductor, which is any, uh, any 
uh, any size at any voltage. So, yung isang klase ng line is also the electrical supply lines. So, from the world itself. So, this is wires that uh, or lines on our system that supplies the current. No? Okay, joint, joint use lines. So, overhead or underground lines containing or supporting facilities of two or more utilities. So, parang shared siya na uh, no, uh, distribution line. So, lines containing or supporting facilities that bring two or more types of service by the same owner such as electricity and lighting supply service or telephone and C8, uh, CATV. So, that is uh, no, uh, cable TV communication service are not considered joint use lines unless also accompanied by one or more lines of another utility. So, kasi sa poste, eh, no? sa so, isang post, pwede sa taas yung distribution line, tapos sa cable, tapos sa fiber optic. no? So, that is not considered as a joint use lines. Kasi magkaiba yung purpose ng mga linya. If in case, no? mayroong isang poste, eh, tapos mayroong wire sa taas sa isang utility company, tapos isa ding, isa ding electric utility company, tapos CTV, tapos fiber optic. So, that type of line is a joint use line. Kasi dalawa na yung tawag natin. Dalawa na yung utility company na gumagamit sa ano na yun, sa line na yun. Okay. So ito kaya na, manual, capable of being operated by personal intervention or, or a human interaction or intervention. Minimum approach distance. So the closest distance a qualified employee is permitted to approach either an energized or grounded object as applicable for work method being used. No? So, especially if you are working with high voltage system. No? So, yung mga equipment yan may safe distance no? kung saan pwede kang lumapit. No? If you are um, you are mas malapit ka na dun sa, ano, sa safe distance, sa mangyayari, it, it, um, magkakaroon ka ng, ano, ng accident. It will be electrocuted no? or you'll be blasted out no sa lakas ng voltage then multi grounded or multi or multiple grounded system a system of conductor in which neutral conductor is intentionally grounded so deadly at specified intervals a multi grounded or multiple grounded system may or not be effectively grounded so meaning if you have a multi ground or or multiple grounded system it is not a requirement that all of those systems are uh, effectively grounded. At least, meron lang isa sa kanila na naka-effectively ground. And everything will be uh, connected as effectively grounded. Okay. Neutral conductor. A system of conductor other than a phase conductor that provides a return path for current to the source. So, the purpose of a neutral conductor is serves as a return path of the current. So, not all systems have a neutral conductor. So, an example is an ungrounded delta system. So, sa delta system, walang ano, neutral conductor. No? Kasi ang meron lang is the Y system. No? Yung Y, pwede natin nangyayan ng ano. Yung kanyang point doon, no? is pwede natin gawing neutral. Kasi the purpose of neutral is, aside from balancing out the ano, current, kasi mata yung ano, return path, Okay, it is also, its main purpose is also is to, uh, dun, to have an equipotential na line. Kung saan, that line could be, uh, you could get a dual voltage of that one, either 240 or 120. Yan. Out of service. So, when we say out of service, lines and equipment are considered out of service when they are disconnected from the system and thus are not intended to be capable of delivering energy or commercial signals. So, ibig sabihin, hindi na siya ginagamit. No? Either that part of the line or that uh, system or that equipment has been damaged. Yan. Okay, over voltage. So, voltage between two points of system that is greater than the highest value appearing between the same two points under normal service condition. So, over voltage includes but are not limited to switching impulse or switching surge. So, meaning kapag nag on tayo, no? then there will be an, ano, a momentary 
na surge, no? So bilang tataas yung ating tawag doon. Yung ating voltage or temporary such as transient. So ibig sabihin transient if natamaan ng kidlat, no? Or biglang at uh, biglang lumaki yung load so we have at transient. So again that uh, that could be momentary but mas matagal siya kaysa doon sa switching surge. Pad mounted equipment a general term describing enclosed equipment, the exterior of which enclosure is uh, is a ground potential, no possession on a surface mounted pad. So meaning an equipment that has its own pad. No example of that is the pad mounted transformer. Yung mga power transformer na naka raise, naka elevation ng konte from the surface. So including on that pad is the also the ground potential of our equipment. Premises. So the land and buildings of a user located on the user side of the service point to electric supply, communication, or signal premises wiring. So the the yung lahat ng wiring na nasa loob ng premises. So that so that is now part of the Philippine Ethical Code Part One. Yung yung part na, na hindi kasama ng ng premises. So that is now uh, scope na Philippine Ethical Code Part 2. So, the premises wiring system, interior and exterior wiring, including power, lighting, control, communication, and the signal circuit wiring together with all its associated hardware fittings, no? kasama yung mga conduit, yung mga boxes, no? which is installed either from the service point or the premises power source of the outlets, and where there is no service point and including Non -utility, non utility power sources to the outlet. So meaning, itong pre itong pre premises wiring hindi to sa kop ng Philippine Ethical Code Part Two. So this is scope ng PEC Part One, no? So such wiring does not include wiring of internal devices, luminaires, motors, controllers, motor control centers, and similar equipment. Nor does it include utility equipment and wiring on the utility side of the service point. So nabi sabihin ito. Yung premises wiring hindi kasama yung internal wiring ng mga appliances, ng mga ilaw, ng mga motors, at pati yung mga controllers na built-in na, or yung mga soft starters or VFD. So those types of wiring are not included on premises wiring. No? Pati yung wiring na biyan doon sa service point, which is now part of the PEC Part 2. Yan. Pre-stress concrete structure, concrete structure that include metal tendons that are tensioned and anchored either before or after the curing of concrete. So you, so usually we will use this one. Yata mga ano pre-stress concrete na mga post po ide din dun sa ating ano sa ating support ng ating mga post. So we could use pre pre ah uh, pre-stress pre-stress concrete structure. Pulling iron and anchor securing in the wall ceiling or floor of a manhole or vault to attach rigging used to pull cable. No? So for cable pulling, we will use pulling iron. Pulling tension, the, lo the lo longitudinal force exerted a cable during installation. So if we are going to install cable no, in a transmission line, yung force no, kung saan uh, hinihila natin yung ating cable or the tension between two poles, ang tawag doon is Ang tawag doon is ah, uh, tawag doon, pulling uh, tension. Yan, pulling tension. Okay, then qualified. So, ito na. So, when we say qualified person, so, having trained, having been trained and have demonstrated adequate knowledge of the installation, construction, or operation of lines and equipment, and hazards involved including identification of an exposure to electric supply and communication lines and equipment in or near the workplace. No? An employee who is undergoing on-the-job training and who, and who in the course of such training has demonstrated the ability to perform duties safely at his or her level of training and who is under direct supervision of a qualified person is considered to be qualified for the performance of those duties. Okay. Ano ibig sabihin ito? Qualified person 
uh, you are qualified to perform uh, works no uh, in accordance to Philippine Rica Code Part 2 if you have the proper training. Tapos, you have demonstrated the adequate knowledge, is including the safety standards or the safety precautions. Alam mo kung ano mangyayari if ito yung gagawin mo. No? So, that is qualified person. If in case you are an OGT, tapos, you have undergone, uh, undergone that OGT under all tapos yung supervisor mo is a qualified person, then after that OGT, you can now be considered also as a qualified person. Kunyari, substation tender. So, you will be a substation tender if, uh, doon, if you have gone the proper training, no? And you have the knowledge kung ano mangyayari doon sa substation. If in case you are uh, nag- nag- OGT ka sa isang substation, tapos yung supervisor mo is a qualified person. So, after completing your OGT, so you will be given a certificate, then you can now be considered also as a qualified person. Okay? Then, qualified climber, a worker who by reason of training and experience understand the methods and has routinely demonstrated proficiency in climbing techniques and famili famili familiarity with the hazards associated with climbing. So, part of being a lineman, no? lalo na yung mga lineman, you have, you have also the training on climbing, no? Kung paano gamitin yung mga, uh, tawag doon, mga climbing equipment, no? So, kasi kasama yun sa mga safety precautions at kasama yun sa mga skills na dapat i-demonstrate ng isang lineman, no? Ikaw pag lineman ka, dapat marunong kang umakyat, no? Kasi dapat akyatin yung poste, no? Lalong-lalong doon sa noong uh, mga unang panahon, no? Kung saan wala pa tayo yung boom track. But even if you have boom track, there are instances na hindi pwedeng gamay gamitin yung boom track. So, you will be doing manual climbing on post. So, dapat yung mga linemen, they are also qualified climber. Raceway is in a channel designed ex expressly and used solely for holding conductors. So, yung raceway, doon natin ilalagay natin conductors for their uh, protection and for holding them. Random separation. So, instead, installed with less than 300 mm separation and without and without deliberate separation. So, if a certain wire is separated by at least 300 mm, tapos unintentional siya, ang tawag doon is random separation. Then, remote uh, remotely operable as applied to equipment. So, capable of being operated from a, po, uh, from a position external to the structure. So, ibig sabihin nun, a certain equipment could be operated kahit wala ka doon sa harap ng equipment. No? Kahit sa ibang lugar ka. So, the usual way now is to, para maging remotely operable ating system, is to use PLC or SCADA on our equipment dun sa mga substation or sa mga planta. Restricted access where exclusive control is maintained. No? So, if a certain um, substation is is restricted access, meaning meron lang isang tao or a company that has ex exclusive control on that area. Roadway, the portion of highway including shoulders for vehicular use. So, kung saan doon part ng kasada na kung saan doon dumadaan yung ating mga sasakyan ang tawag doon is roadway no kadalasan nangyayari kasi sa sobrang dami ng sasakyan tapos sobrang konti lang ng ano uh, sobrang konti lang ng tawag doon ng mga uh, sobrang liit lang ng ating highway so yun kaya minsan yung ano yung sidewalk is nagiging ano na nagiging part na ng roadway yan okay rural districts or places not urban this can include thinly settled areas within city limits yan okay sag no when we say sag the distance measured vertically from conductor to the straight line joining its two points of support so unless otherwise stated in the rule the sag referred to is the sag at the midpoint of the span. No? So, kunyari, if you have a post dito, no? draw na natin yung post natin dito. 
right yan so yan, may, dala, may dalawa tayong poste ito yung ating line so kapag may curve yan so ito yung tatawag ng sag yung midpoint ng distance niya so initial unloaded sag so that is the sag of a conductor prior to the application of external load so yung sag lang dahil sa mismong bigat ng ating cable if meron na siyang external load kunyari nabagsakan so that is the final sag so either that is through loading temperature or subject to a period of loading remove so final sag shall include the effect of inelastic deformation so kasi kapag ito palaging na na ano to ng ano loading no either intentional or unintentional so nakakaroon ng deformation nagiging elongated yung ating ano ating wires at maaring maputol yung ating wires no in the long run okay separation the distance between two objects measured surface to surface and usually filled with a solid or liquid material okay then service drop the overhead conductors between the electrical supply equipment or communication line and the building structure or structure being served so service drop nasa taas service lateral nasa baba so yun yung yun yung dalawang ano na pag nagkaiba service drop overhead conductors no either that is for supply electrical supply or communication line no service point the point of connection between the facilities or servicing utility and the premises wiring so yung service point is the boundary in which doon natin malalaman kung saan yung sakop ng PEC part 1 at PEC part 2. So, for example, ito yung ating wiring system, no? So, ito, uh, ano ko na to last time, no? So, dito yung ating service point, no? So, dito yung ating kilowatt hour meter. Yan. So, dito yung galing sa ating service, no? Yan. So, sa ating, tawag doon, ating transformer. So this part, no? And so this part is PEC 2, no? PEC part 2. This part is PEC part 1. So ito yung premises wiring, ito yung utility wiring. So ang malaking pinagkaiba ng dalawa is that kung ano yung mga standard ng PEC1 hindi mo yang pwedeng gamitin sa PEC2. So the PEC2, tol sinabi ko last time, the addition of this one is 2020. So that's why yung PEC2 has its own definition of terms, no? So may mga terms na nandito sa PEC2 na wala sa PEC1. Yung PEC1 that is 2017, no? So before this one before yung 2017, the latest edition of PEC-1 is 2009. No? So, usually, yung nada-download sa ano, internet is 2009. No? So, wal wala nang masyadong pinagbago. May nagkaroon, may konting ano lang, may konting changes lang when it comes to the wire ampacity. Tapos, ano, doon sa chapter 9, all about watercraft. Yung, yung PEC2 ngayon na ginagamit natin 2020 before na 2020 ang latest nito no bago na 2020 is 2000 no at i don't know if nada-download ba yung 2000 doon sa internet but the PEC part 2 could be only bought yung pinaka ano to pinaka or, pinaka original nito could only be bought sa IIEE no so there are instances no katulad nung ilan ba yun uh, last week yata or ka ngayong week so meron kasing bumili ng PEC part 2 sa ano Shopee tapos pinatingin sa akin if tama ba yung content no kasi yung PEC part 2 ko is yung original galing sa IIEE so ang laman is PEC part 2 2020 pero ang laman is PEC part 1 2009 yon no so parang ginawa lang ang cover yung ginaya tapos ang laman iba na pala na standard 2009 na pala so that is also misinformation and mis misleading no kasi 
uh, ang mayari kasi nun, kapag, especially if ang nakabili nun is an electric car practitioner, a license, no? Tapos siya yung mag-supervise mag ng isang, ano, isang, tawag doon, isang project. So, mangyayari, ang, ang gagamitin niya na, ano, standard is PEC Part 1, tapos 2009 pa. No? So, Part 1 is for inside buildings, tapos yung kanyang version or kanyang edition is obsolete na no or sa ang ang ano pa yang ang term ng IIEE at ng ano diyan ng board of electrical board of electrical electrical engineering ang kalang term sa mga past edition is superseded no ano pa yan is pinalitan na no yung version na yon or hindi na applicable yung version na yon so yun so The only way to secure if your tawag don if ang inyong ginagamit is uh, the original is to purchase no on the IIEE no so medyo mahal nga lang kasi original sa Shopee na sa mga 800 900 pinakamahal na nakita ko is 12 but yung yung original ng PEC part 2 na 2020 doon sa IIEE is 1980 if you are a member of the IIEE and the only way para maging member is to be licensed or to apply for so if you if mga students are considered as a, affiliate no so may ring discount din yan no so yun lang so be careful kung ano yung bin, yung binibili nyo online especially do, sa ating mga ano online online shopping natin ng mga website no kasi minsan yung cover tama pero yung loob hindi. Yan. Okay. Then shield wire also referred to as overhead ground wire, static wire or surge protection wire. So it is a wire that is grounded and the purpose of this wire is to purpose of this wire is to protect the power system or to protect the lines from lighting strikes, no? Shoulder. Now, the portion of the roadway continues with a traveled way for accommodating stop vehicles for emergency use for lateral support of base and surface course. So, yung mga part ng mga highway na kung saan, if in case mayroong emergency, pwede ka doon mag-park. No? So, medyo naka-costly ano, siya, naka siyang konti doon sa highway. In sidewall pressure, the crushing force exerted on a cable during installation no so that is the sidewall pressure that is the crushing force then single grounded system or uni grounded system a system of conductor with only one grounded conductor which is intentionally grounded then spacer cable a uh, uh, type of electric supply line construction consisting of an assembly of one or more covered conductors separated from each other and supported from a messenger by spacers. No, yung mga, may mga spacer, kung nakikita kayo ng mga transmission lines, tapos parang may mga spacers sa gitna. So that is what we call a spacer cables. Spacing, so the distance between two objects measured center to center. Okay. So kanina may sinabi ako tungkol doon sa clearance. So sa so nakaalala, ano yung pinagkaiba ng spacing at clearance? No? So, ang spacing, definition niya, distance between two objects, measured center to center. Sa so, ngayon, yun naman ang clearance. So, ano yung measurement ng clearance? So, yung spacing is center, center to center. Yung clearance, ano yung measurement niya? Okay, pakiano sa chat if naalala nyo. Okay. So, spacing is center to center. No, ito may sabi outside to outside. Tama. The other term for outside to outside is surface to surface. So, that is clearance. So, clearance is surface to surface. Spacing is center to center. No? So, at least alam nyo kung ano yung pinakaiba. At malay nyo, ano, isa to sa lumabas. No? Kasi pag... Ay, ang nobas ito, distance between two objects measured from center to center. So, ang choices is distance, uh, spacing, clearance, ganyan. So, at least alam nyo kung ano yon kapag center to center. 
And that is that definition is based sa Philippine Integral Code Part 2. Itong spacing hindi to makikita sa Part 1. Walang spacing sa Part 1, no? Okay? Next is span. So the horizontal distance between two adjacent supporting points of a conductor. No? So between poles, so that is the span then yung kanyang distance no between uh, between two poles or between two support of a conductors span wire an auxiliary suspension wire that serves to support one or more trolley con contact conductors or allied fixtures and conductors that is connected to a su supply system so the purpose of span wire is to have is to support no uh, conductors or lighting fixtures Okay, structure conflict. So a line situated with respect to a second line that overturning of the first line will result in contact between its supporting structures or conductors and the conductor second line assuming that no conductors are broken in either line. So ibig sabihin to structure conflict, you could not interchange you know, the two conductors if they have a structure conflict. Supervised installation. So where condition of maintenance of should ensure that only qualified persons monitor and service the system. So that is supervised installation. Uh, it is assured no, na yung gagawa ng installations are only qualified persons. The supported facility, any component of an overhead line system that is supported on but is not intended to provide structural strength to the supporting structure or mechanical support system. In supporting structure, the main supporting unit, usually pole or tower, used to support supply and communication conductors, cables, and equipment. So, yung supporting structure, so yung post din natin, yung supporting facility, so any component of the overhead line system that is not intended to provide structural strength to the supporting structure and medical support system. So, yung supported facility, yan yung sino support ng supporting structure. So, pole, ito yung ating uh, transformer, yung ating mga communication lines or electrical lines. Okay, next. Yan. So, real, ah, real. Readily uh, climbable. So, ah, uh, Structure in which efficient handholds or fault holds are placed. So meaning, madali siyang akyatin kasi meron na siyang mga parang mga rang no? or mga, doon, mga uh, structure in which you could easily climb may mga footholds at handholds. Not readily climbable, a supporting structure not meeting the definition above. No, ito. So including but not limited to supporting structures including poles or Tower legs with handles of array so that is there is na less than 2.4 meters between either. So, ibig sabihin sobrang layo ng kanyang mga handholds at foot holds, no? And the other one is guy wires, no? Yung ating uh, support wires na kung saan hindi pwede gamitin, no? To, to climb, no? The structure. Okay, so surge arister, a uh, protective device for limiting surge voltages. No? Yan yung ating surge arister. Then, uh, susceptiveness, the characteristics of a communication circuit, including its connected with apparatus that determine the extent to which it is adversely affected by inductive fields. Ibig sabihin nito, if a certain communication line uh, is very susceptible to interference. No? Yung mga interference na galing sa ating mga power lines, na kung saan pwedeng maano maka-affect sa kanyang signal switch so alam naman natin kung yung switch no on off that is switch so that is a device opening or closing or changing the connection of a circuit so opening off closing on changing so pwede nating i-divert no yung flow ng current it could be uh, automatic or manual in nature Switchboard, so a type of switchgear assembly that consists of one or more panels with electric device mounted thereon and associated framework. So, yung uh, switchgear is a uh, switchboard is a group of switchgear. Yung switchgear nakalagay doon yung mga protective devices 
another an, an uh, mga monitoring devices for the protection of the electrical system. So if if group na siya ng mga switchgear, so that is not what uh, that is now what we called as a switchboard. Tag. So tag is the accident prevention tag, either danger, people at work, etc. That is used for the purpose of personal protection to indicate that the operation of the device to which it is attached is restricted. Ibig sabihin, pag yung isang equipment may tag, so ibig sabihin nun, usage or operation of that equipment or device is restricted. Then we have transferring. So as applied to for protection, the act of moving from one distinct object to another. So that is the act from moving to a certain platform to another. So it is transferring. Then, transformer volt. So doon nakalagay yung ating transformer. So it could be below ground or underground. Then a certain condition must be met. The walls must be fire resistant, the ceiling and the floors. No? Then, uh, as ano lang, the the maximum, uh, the, the minimum fire fire resistant rating for transformer volts and other volts and other electrical volts is 3 hours. No, ibig sabihin, kahit ano pa, uh, 3 hours pa siya bago siya ma completely, no? Completely na ma-engulf in flame yung or ma masunog yung buong transformer volt or the volt itself. Transitioning, so as apply as applied to for protection, that is the act of moving from one location to another on an equipment or a structure, no? Then traveled way, the portion of the roadway for the moving for the movement of vehicles, exclusive of shoulders and full-time parking lanes. Then you have ungrounded system. So these are the system in which the conductors are not intentionally grounded or uh, not connected to an interrupting current emitting device. An so example of this one is the Delta system. No? Then unloaded tension. So initial that the the longitudinal tension na conductor prior to the application of an ex external load. The final is including na yung ating load, no? The red loading and the loading is removed. Then urban districts, which is the opposite for rural districts, thickly settled areas were in cities or suburbs, kung saan part ng city na kung saan marami ang tao. Ang tawag dyan is urban district. Maraming bahay, no? Maraming mga establishment. So that is urban district. If Scars na yung ano, mga bahay, kukunti na lang, ang yung mga tao, kukunti na lang, so ang tawag dyan is rural districts. Then, utility, so that is an organization responsible for engineering and supervision of our electrical supply, communication, real lighting, street lighting, signal, or railroad utility system. So yung ating mga ano, mga electrical cooperative, no? So yan yung ating mga utility. Okay, so kapag public, so the public the public utility is it is owned by the public. So yung mga cooperative, so yan yung mga public pag private naman that is owned by an entity, so either a corporation or a sole proprietorship. So yan yung private utility. So sa public so yung yung example natin sa mga provinces yung mga cooperative so yan yung mga public utility pag private naman so yung private dito sa atin is the Miralco yan. then you utility interactive system an an electric power production system that is operating in parallel and with capable of delivering energy to a utility electric supply system. So that is a utility interactive system. So it is uh, somewhat of a backup system. Now, if in case hindi na kaya ng ating ano, uh, utility electric system na masupply yung demand ng isang lugar o ng kanyang area of responsibility, so it could tap into the utility interactive system. The util utilization equipment is the load itself. No? yung load ng ating uh, 
tawag doon ng ating system no either that is used for electronic electromechanical chemical heating lighting testing communication and other similar purposes on the premises wiring side of the service point so nandoon na siya sa ating mismong load no in volt so a structure solidly enclosed no so a structure solid enclosure so sa top at bottom tapos may mga protection siya no so at yung kanyang maintenance is under a qualified person that is a bolt so transformer bolt generator bolt hindi kasama sa bolt yung bank bolt yung sa bangko no ibang bolt yon so the 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 general term for volt tagas electrical is electrical bolt no so voltage so alam na natin kung ano yung voltage so for this one that is the effective rms so when we say rms that is the root mean square so bakit may rms kasi yung ating system na ginagamit is ac no basasama natin yan sa ating review kung bakit rms ano yung rms no then uh, potential difference between any two conductors or between conductor and ground so between two conductors so line 1 line 2 we have a voltage line 2 line 3 will have a voltage line 3 line 1 will have a voltage pero yung line 1 to line 1 wala yang voltage yan so then voltage of a circuit not effectively grounded so the highest nominal voltage available between any two conductors of the circuit so line 1 to line 2 so that is the voltage of a circuit na o hindi naka ground voltage of a constant current circuit the highest nominal full voltage of the circuit no so ito yung pinaka mataas no? the normal full load voltage of the circuit then voltage of an effectively grounded circuit so that is the highest nominal voltage between the conductor and the ground no unless otherwise indicated then voltage to ground, so a grounded circuit, the highest nominal voltage available between two conductor and the grounded. Kapag ungrounded naman, so between two conductors and the circuit concerned. Voltage to ground of a conductor, so a grounded circuit is the, what is uh, Such conductor, the point of conductor, okay. Maraming atas lang dalawa pala, na doble lang. Okay, then we have wire sizes, no? So unlike sa ano sa uh, sa usual natin ginagamit all wires in this code the PEC part 2 are expressed in square millimeter which is unit closure area expressed in square millimeter okay so if, if unless it is indicated if that is a solid wire the unit will be in millimeter no so the diameter of each conductor will be in millimeter but the area no the miss the the sizes itself must be in square millimeter so wala po dito ang circular mill walang awg so kapag pinipilitical code yung ano natin dapat square millimeter so this unit as applied to stranded conductor is equal to the sum of the cross sectional areas of the individual conductor comprising the stranded conductors Ayan, ulitin ko, yung wire sizes natin for political code part 2 are in square millimeter. Yung diameter are in millimeter. So, wala pong gagamit if you are going to follow the political code part 2 ng AWG or circular. Okay? Ayan. So, I believe that is the last, no? The last definition of terms or the last term, no? for the Philippine Ethical Code Part 2. So, meron pang ibang mga terms doon. Puro mga 10 siguro yun na, ano, hindi, hindi ko na sinali kasi nandun din yun sa Part 1. No? Mas maitindihan siya if we are going to include that one on the Part 1 kasi the, mas madali siyang i-relate ano, i, i doon sa mga provisions ng Part 1 kasi Part 2. Kasi meron ding mga terms na ginagamit yung Part 2 as part of the provisions that is to to relate no to relate is its provisions to part 1 especially doon sa ano na sa service point no so yan okay so now we will have a little drill test no so uh, 
uh, this is not part of your practice test no na aking ipopost sa ating website but this is just to test if you are listening no on our discussion this evening tapos if you want uh, if you have your answer so just write the letter of your answer on our uh, Google Meet chat no Google Meet chat so tulad ng sinabi ko last time so wag uh, Huwag po kayong matakot na magkamali kasi mas maigi po na magkamali tayo or kayo during this practice test kaysa magkamali during the exam. Yan. Okay? So, let's have the first question. Yan. What characterizes a private utility according to the de definitions provided? Okay, so is it A, B, C, or So just type your answer on our chat box. Okay, so madami-dami na yung nag-ano, nag-answer ng A. Iba. So kaya yung answer ng iba. Okay, so the correct answer is letter A. So it provides utility service exclusive to its own facility and generates or transmits power to other utilities. Yeah. Next. Who is considered as an authorized person according to the code? An individual working on utility facilities, regardless of the training or qualification, a person has been uh, has a basic understanding of the utility system. A person has been authorized by the controlling utility, or a person with professional engineering degree. Yan. Okay. Tingin ko tama yung sagot yung lahat. The correct answer is letter. Yan. Letter C. No. So, meaning, if you are an authorized person, you are not required to have a degree as long as you have the authorization from the utility company. Yan. Letter C yung tamang sagot. Okay, next. Next, uh, third to. No? In the context of this code, so that is PEC part 2, what does ampacity refer to? Okay, the correct answer is letter C. No, the current carrying capacity expressed in amperes under stated thermal condition. So this is applicable to conductors. Okay, next, the fourth question. In this code, how are standard wise size, sizes expressed? Ano yung ano, standard size ng ating wire? Ano yung kanyang unit? Yan, unit pala yung term. Okay. Yan. So, the correct answer is letter B in square millimeters. Okay. Next. Which of the following entities falls under the category of a public utility? according to the definitions provided. And so, public po yung tanong, hindi po, ano, private. And okay, so the correct answer is so public po, hindi po private. Okay, the correct answer is public utility is letter B, no? Uh, co cooperative owned utility district, no? Ito kasi 
an entity that provides utility service exclusive to its own facilities this is part of a private kapag large oil field operator naman so may sarili yung power system so they are considered as a private utility kapag privately owned industrial complex so may sarili din yung ano utility so they are also a private utility and next What is the primary function of a search register as defined in the context or this as defined in the code? So, parang ano, parang malapit-lapit yung mga no, answers dito. Okay, so the correct answer is letter natin. Letter C, no, to protect against excessive surge voltages. Yeah. Next, according to the definition uh, provided, what is a worksite when applied to fall protection? So, ano yung worksite? So, tulad ng sinabi ko last time, no? Naalala niyo pa, sinabi ko that um, in, some, uh, in most cases, yung question na may pinakamahabang, yung pinakamahabang choice, no? Most cases, yun yung tamang sagot. No? Isa yun sa mga technique, no? Especially if a certain um, question involving, involves, no? Meron siyang explanation na choices. So, pinakamataba, yun yung uh, malamang sa malamang yung tamang sagot. Okay? The correct answer is yan. A point on a structure. So, ito yung maalaga ito. Point on a structure or equipment where worker perform assigned uh, work after climbing. Letter C yung tamang sagot. Okay? Next. What is the general description of a switchboard as defined in these rules? Ano yung switchboard? Okay, so mostly yung answer niyo is letter D. Okay, so the correct answer is letter D. No, a switch care assembly with panels and electric devices mounted on it. So, basically, switchboard is a group of switch gear. Yan para madaling tandaan or assembly of switch gear. Okay, next, what is a utility interactive system? Diyan yung sagot nyo. A utility interactive system. Okay, so the correct answer is letter letter B, a system capable of delivering power on its own no? or delivering energy to you, the utility supply system. Okay, letter B, next. According to the definition, what does susceptiveness refer to in the context of communication circuit? So, para sa anda yung susceptiveness. Ano yung ibig sabihin if you are going to apply that one on communication system?
Okay. The correct answer is letter. Ingin ko tama kayong lahat, no? Correct answer is letter C. The characteristic of a circuit that determine that that determines how much it is adversely affected by inductive fields no yung sus, sus, um, susceptiveness ng ating connection system to interference next in the context of equipment what does remotely operable mean Okay, so the correct answer is letter, hindi ka mahaba ulit, no? Letter C, yan. Okay, next. According to the definition provided, where is a volt typically located? Yan. Yan. Saan typically nakalagay or malolocate ang volt? Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, no? either above or below ground, including in a building. Yan. Next, how is a switch typically understood in the context of these rules or according to the PEC part 2? Okay, so the correct answer is don't tama lahat no? letter B. So manually operable siya unless it is stated as automatic. Okay? Next. According to the definition, when is an area considered to have restricted access? Kailan nagiging restricted access yung area? No? With respect to the Philippine Electrical Code Part 2. Okay. Yan. The correct answer is, yun, parang tama kay lahat, no? Letter B, when access is limited to authorized personnel only. Next. Distinguishes a qualified climber according to the definition. Ano yung qualified climber? Okay. So the correct answer is letter... Parang hindi lulabas yung magsagot ha. Okay. Letter C. No? Yung may... Training and demonstrated proficiency in climbing and hazard awareness. Next, what is the primary purpose of a handhold? Okay, ano yung handhold? Para saan yung handhold? Okay, so the correct answer is letter and letter C, no, an opening for personal to reach into but not to enter. Next, what is the definition of util, util, utilization, no, utilization equipment? Okay, dito yung tamang definition ng utilization equipment. Okay, so the correct answer is letter C, you know? 
equipment that uses electric or light energy. Next, yun. Okay, yun na pala yung last. Okay, so that will be our last slide, no? And our last question for this evening, no? So, are there any questions, no? If may tanong po kayo, if you could have here that other chat box. So, if uh, maybe may tanong kayo tungkol doon sa uh, ano, option 1, no? Yung nag-ano ng review materials. So, don't worry, your review materials will be sent to the address that you have given, no? So, um, isi-send po yun so that... Uh, yung mga review materials po is nakabook na po siya. All are questions, no? Questions with answers and solution. Okay? So, maybe uh, one week or two weeks from now. So, nakadepende po yan sa LBC at kung gano'n po kalayo yung, uh, yung area nyo. Okay? So, I hope no, that will be all for this evening. No? So, next meeting will have PEC Part 2, Chapter 2. No? Okay? So, if doon naman sa gustong mag ano pag gusto mag-order ng PEC part 2 tapos um gusto niyo yung original tapos para makatipid-tipid ng konti so you could ano po you could um tap in sa akin tapos uh, pwede po nating gamitin yung membership ko no kasi may ano ako doon sa national so that is 1980 no ng PEC part 2 no Okay. So eh ano niya lang i ano niya lang sa akin during the ano sa group chat no. Pag-usapan natin yung tungkol sa PC part 2 natin at yung sa ano naman part 1 same pa rin yung ano presyo no. So i ano ko sa inyo yung total cost no kasi yung tawag doon yung 1980 is for the book hindi pa kasama yung tawag doon yung bayad sa delivery no kasi hindi kasi free free delivery yung ano yung tawag doon yung uh, IIEE no hindi hindi free shipping yon so tingin ko 280 yata no 280 i-check ko bukas no tapos ibibigay ko sa inyo yung ano pinaka total price iano ko muna yung ano okay po yan no i-try natin ano um bukas Ah, oh, tungkol po sa technical, meron pa tayong technical review. Technical subject, yun. Technical review tuloy. Technical subject review, which will be uh, starting um, mga second week ng January. Yan. Talaga pong dadaanan natin lahat from, inunala natin yung PEC kasi yung PEC sobrang daming terms, no? Habang yung, te yung, te yung technical subject naman sobrang daming computations, no? So, yan din yung po yung napansin na namin last time sa aming review. Ino na namin yung technical subject kasi para sa computation. Tapos, medyo kinapos or ng oras sa pinipilical code. Tapos, hindi na talaga na, na eternalize no? yung mga terms. So, ah, kaya, ngayon, ang gagawin namin, uunahin natin yung PC para yung mga terms talagang paano yun talaga. Kasi medyo mahaba pa yung yung time no kung natapos natin yung PEC sa January so you could again uh, review yourself yung mga terms hanggang umabot yung April kaysa mga match pa natin ma ano yung hatang terms tapos raming na yung ano nyo, yung mind nyo no so yung sa technical subject will have discussions on that no so don't worry also, I'll, be, I'll be also giving to you the tawag doon, the listing ng mga topics at mga schedule, no, natin. Okay? So, I guess, yun lang po, no, sa gabing to. So, medyo magkakatin ng konti ngayon kasi uh, yung terms ng PEC Part 2 is konti lang. Sa Part 1 yung marami, no, which which is medyo, ano pa lang, sa mga darating pa lang na discussion. Okay, so, I hope you have a good night's sleep and uh, thank you for your active participation in our discussion tonight. So, see you again this Sunday and don't forget to answer your practice test. Okay? So, thank you and have a good night and God bless. So, pwede, pwede na po kayong mag-out sa ating ano, Google Meet. <laughs>